Hello, Dominant and Heron. I'm Kreutz, and in today's raid video, we're going to be talking about different methods to complete and deciding when to participate in summoning tournaments. The decision to take part in a summoning tournament is impacted by several factors. Your shard balance, your shard income, the calendar, the rewards on offer, your playstyle, and your roster. Everyone has different priorities and varying play styles. I'm not here to say what's wrong or right. I'm just offering some food for thought. So in the game, you can see that right at this moment, we've got a 2x for voids. We also have a champion chase tournament at the same time. If we look at my voids, you can see I've pulled Necret, Gurgo, or Suga and a Nithwe as the Legos. I've got most of the epics, um, apart from Madame Suri and Skullcrown. I would love to have those champions, but I will get them eventually. So I'm not too fussed about that, but the more Lego uh, voids that I can get on my account, the better. So I like to go ahead and summon during two axes. I'm not looking for specific champions. If I ever got to the point where I had most of the Lego voids and I was looking for specific ones, then I would go after the 10 X's. But currently, my play style, I'm going after two X's. So I'm going to go ahead and pull during this event because I have the shard balance and the shard income to go ahead and afford that. And the calendar is not going to be an issue for me at the moment. The rotation of summoning events is relatively stable. Plarium has switched up every now and then, but alternating 2x, 10x with the rotation of Ancient Sacred Void is pretty reliable. I go for every fusion, so I like to map out on the calendar to help me decide on what events or uh, tournaments that I like to participate in. Right now we're in June in the middle of the Loriaka fusion. And this week, the 16th, 17th, and the 18th is the 2x voids. If we look ahead, the next fusion that's going to correspond potentially with 2x voids is most likely going to be September. If you look at the pace we've been going, it's the second Thursday of every month. So. The next one most likely is going to be uh, Sacreds and then Ancients and then Voids in September. So I feel relatively comfortable that if I pull during this event that by the time I get to September I'll have plenty of uh, shards to go ahead and comfortably complete uh, a fusion that's taking place at that time. In a previous video, went over my tracking of my shard and book income. Average voids are about 30 a month. The past three months have been more about 35. So I've got the shard income to go ahead and afford to take place in this or participate in this champion chase tournament. And if you scroll down, we can go ahead and see the math. Uh, to max out a champion chase tournament. Uh, for ancients, you're going to need, uh, on average, during a 2x, 103, and in a non-2x, 173. For voids, it's going to be 52 and 71, and then sacreds, it's going to be 19 to 20. Uh, I got arrived at these numbers, you just take the percentages which are in the game, the points which are available in game, you multiply those, add them all up, and that's how you get your average points per shard. And then you divide the reward by the average points per shard, and that's how many shard um, that's will give you the shards that you need to max out that event. So the swing on 2x and non 2x is huge and hugely impactful for ancients and voids. Um, but for sacreds, it's a, it's a difference of one. So um, if you're doing a champion chase during a non-2x, 
I would I would use you I would definitely use sacreds and use voids and ancients during two X's. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, we can go ahead and see summon rush. Uh, for summon rush, the top reward is about 7,500 or is 7,500. So uh, mystery point, uh, mystery shards give you one, ancients 20, voids 120, and sacreds 500. So to max out, you'll need 7,500 mysteries or 375 ancients or 62.5 voids or 15 sacreds. All right, so let's look at the rewards in this champion chase tournament. We've got a Lego book at 3,000 and a Lego book at 5,500. If you're doing a fusion, obviously you got to get to the point where you get their fragments or the champions that you need to fuse the legendary. But outside of that, it, I would suggest either maxing out or skipping. And if you look at the simple math here, if you participate in two different champion chase tournaments but only get to the 3,000, you've gotten two Lego books for 6,000 points. Whereas if you had just maxed out one, you have gotten two Lego books for 5,500. You've saved a sacred by doing so. Over the course of a year, you're talking about free-to-play efficiency. You're, that's going to be over 12 sacreds, which is, which is huge. So last thing uh, I wanted to talk about is uh, how to attain points. For Champion Chase, which is my preferred, just because there's so many ways you can get points, you can get the champions out of the marketplace, which I've been doing um, during this Champion Chase. I've already gotten over 100 points doing that and running campaign, getting the uncommon and the rares. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> the rares that are in here. And then if you go into the portal, instead of clicking on summon, you can go over here. And we've got the Relic Keeper and Broadmar fusions, which are available. Hopefully, they don't ever take these out. Uh, I haven't been had the need to do these in a long, long time, just because I've gotten to a point where I've gotten gotten enough shards or fragment champions. But early on in my accounts, they were hugely important. Without them, I would not have been able to do certain certain champions early on uh, fragment summons you get these from well chronomes from the referrals but you got fusions uh, doom tower champions bizarre champions daily login champions so you get a good number of champions for fragment summons which is very helpful making up those points and then the last thing i would say uh, for Arbiter, holding off until you're in a uh, Champion Chase tournament to collect her, Romantu, Lydia are the three that that come to mind. I don't think there's there's any other ones. But the, yeah, those are the three that, that you can wait to collect and get those points which each of those is going to be 650 being void legendaries, which is very, very nice. So for Summer Rush, there's not much to say. Uh, you get points for their respective shards. You're going to probably be pulling the shard type that's 2x at the time. Uh, other than that, I would suggest making up the difference with uh, Mysteries and Sacreds. Sacreds just because they're the most efficient shard in the game for summon rush or champion chase for that matter the preparation beforehand is is what gets you able to finish summon rushes so if you would like to check out my previous video on shard management on how to to get those shards uh, i would suggest doing that but that's the end of the video thank you for watching uh, consider doing the youtube things and have a great day cheers the video is over. This is the end screen. You can go now. Bye.